Disrespect, betrayal, threats, blackmail. This is how the Biden administration treated certain countries. And no, these were not China, Pakistan, Iran, or North Korea. Heck, not even Taliban features on this list. These were key U.S. allies from around the world. The only friends that the U.S. has got. But the world has changed, and Biden is learning it the hard way. The friends have now turned on Biden. And as long as he does not fix his act, the USA is headed towards a period of distrust and isolation. And welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Atul Mishra. And in this video, I will tell you how Biden has lost key US allies in less than a year of his presidency. Let's begin. The Biden administration has a very ironic policy approach when it comes to weapon sales and alliance structures. In such a short time, Joe Biden has disappointed the USA's allies so many times that they have started collaborating amongst themselves, ignoring the US entirely. While the Biden administration was okay with leaving high-tech military equipment and vehicles for the Taliban, it continues to fleece or blackmail its allies when it comes to the sale of defense tech and weapons. So US allies are going their own ways. India bought S-400 anti-missile systems from Russia and will buy the new S-500s too. The UAE dumped the F-35 deal with the US and booked the French Rafale jets instead. And now the UK and Japan are also trying to go on their own in the joint development of the engine for the next-gen Japanese fighter jet program. Japan's Yomuri News reported that Tokyo is finalizing its policy on how to jointly develop the jet engine of its FX fighter with Britain. The United Kingdom is an apparent high-capability partner for Japan in technical areas where the United States will not share its know-how. Japan is undoubtedly seen by the British as a viable option over France and Germany in terms of sharing developmental costs, particularly in the realm of combat aircraft. So we are getting the hint that Japan has technology that the British would consider significant. So Japan and the UK are forming an unexpected defense technology alliance. The cooperation is mostly preliminary, but it is far from basic. The two countries are collaborating on some of the most difficult combat aircraft systems, and there's reason to believe they'll pool resources for more of these initiatives. Separately, Japan and the UK announced in September that they were collaborating on a strong radar technology, which we may assume will be crucial to Jaguar. The United Kingdom and Japan are also working together to build an upgraded version of a long-range air-to-air missile. In addition, Rolls-Royce has recommended that the FX and Tempest programs, which are on fairly parallel timelines, collaborate on the development of a single engine type. In general, the US prefers to cover the entire expense of its most advanced research and development, initially keeping the resulting capabilities to itself and rarely sharing the technology with even close allies. As a result of this approach, Japan decided to go with the UK in its efforts to accelerate the development of the new aircraft. And it's not just the UK and Japan who went their own way, but also the UAE and France. The Biden administration tried to bully the USA's key allies in the Middle East, the UAE and Saudi Arabia. All the strides made by Trump were ruined when Biden put a massive F-35 jet sail to the Emirates on hold. It was obviously a disciplinary tactic. After all, the UAE had cozied up with Trump a bit too much and Biden wanted to show them who the boss is. Around the same time, the Biden administration really broke the bro code with France. He made a nuclear submarine deal with Australia, making Australia cancel on an existing deal with France. Macron did not take this lying down and things escalated as the French president fumed publicly at Biden. But would Biden have ever expected that these two unrelated incidents would come together to boomerang on his face? He's too sleepy to have seen it coming. And here's what happened. In a surprise move that swept the rug beneath the State Department, the UAE cracked a massive jet deal with France and trashed the F-35 sale altogether. Ouch. And if you think that would have hurt Biden, take a look at what India did. Instead of offering a sweeter deal to India, the Biden administration kept threatening its own Indo-Pacific ally, India, of sanctions if it purchased the S-400 anti-missile systems from Russia. This was pure blackmail. India went ahead with the sale anyway. And now it could be the first country to also buy the Russian S-500s even before China. Fighting the threat from China was always priority number one for the USA's allies. Sadly, the Biden administration failed key loyalty tests while it kept testing other nations of their loyalties. 